Banana Cat 123 here, and today I have a bit of an interesting video. There's a little bit of a secret I've kept on LPS Tube for a while now. So, if you're familiar, there is another LPS Tuber by the name of LPS Pastel Puppy. And, well, the secret is she's my sister! Hey guys, LPS Pastel Puppy here. So when we first started our channels, we were relatively young, so our parents didn't want us to share the fact that we were sisters online for privacy reasons, but now that we've both had our channels for a while and we're a bit older, we can finally share that we're siblings, and that means we can finally make videos together. Yep, so exciting. So for our first video together, what better to do than the sibling tag? So without further ado, let's jump right in with question number one. Question number one is who is the oldest? So the Nana is older by a few years and I am the younger sister. Also just a little bit of a disclaimer, we're not doing all of the questions in the sibling tag because there's a lot of them and we don't want this video to be too long. Anyways, moving on to question number two. Next question is what do you like and hate about your sibling? One thing I like about you, Pastel, is that you're always offering other people things before you think about yourself. Like for example, tonight Pastel made me a smoothie, and it was very good. And I would say one thing I don't like about Pastel is in the mornings, when she gets up, she has an alarm that's so loud, it blares through the wall and I can hear it every morning but she doesn't wake up because I guess the alarm doesn't wake her up. So every morning she wakes me up with her alarm and she doesn't wake up to turn it off. She just sleeps through yeah, it. Yeah, fun fact, I set multiple alarms because I'm very likely to sleep through all of them. Okay, so the first thing I like about Banana is sort of the, like the influence she's had on me as my older sister. Like seeing her do a lot of things has influenced me sort of making it easier to path out my life, if that makes sense, because I already know what you have done, and I can distinguish right from wrong based off of your actions, and something that I don't like so much about you is how stubborn you can be, like, all the time. You're just very headstrong, and if you want your way, you're probably gonna get your way, and I'm a little, like, more of a submissive personality, so I guess it kind of balances out, but yeah. The next question is, what do we have in common? I would say we're both LPS tubers. Mm -hmm. And I would also say we both love to read. We both really have like a strong passion for animals. And I feel like we're both like more on like the creative slash artistic side. Next question is funniest memory. So, let me tell a story. One time, when Pastel was younger, we were at our grandparents' house, and we were with a couple of the neighbors next door. And there was a giant anthill with red fire ants on it, and I told Pastel to go stand like in a specific spot. I was like, hey Pastel, come stand right here. And then she stood there, and um, she stood on top of the anthill, which I did on purpose because I wasn't very nice to her when I was younger. So um, she got red fire ant bites all up and down her legs, mm -hmm. and obviously when it first happened, um, Pastel didn't think it was funny, but now we look back and think it's yeah. funny. I mean, I was six, you can't really blame me, but it was painful, so thanks for that. The next question is, what do we do for fun? As of recently, we've been playing the game Among Us together for fun. Mm -hmm. That's about really all that comes to mind, though. We do more things, we just can't really think of them. The next question is, what three words would you use to describe each other? The three words I would use to describe you is one, organized, because you're always organized and you're way more organized than me. Two, fashionable, because really? you're way more fashionable than me, even though I hate to admit it. And number three would be shy, because 
you're way too shy and I have to talk to people for you because you're too shy. So the first word I would use to describe Banana is probably artistic because she's just always been like an incredible artist, like I literally could never, so I would definitely say artistic. And then the second word I would use is opinionated because you like to form your own opinions and don't really listen to other people, which can be a good thing too. And then the last word I would use to describe you would probably be probably loyal because you honestly, like, even if you've had a friend for years, you'll try your best to really, like, stay in contact with people you care about. And that doesn't go for all people, but I think that you really try to, like, devote to people. The next question is, what is something that annoys you about the other person? One thing that annoys me about my sister is her indecisiveness. Cause she'll come up and ask me for advice on something and be like, hey, should I do this or this? And I'll give her my honest answer and really good advice. And then she picks the opposite of what I tell her to do. So then I'm just like, why do you even bother asking me? So this isn't really like a personality trait per se, but something that you do that really, really annoys me is you'll just like keep knocking on my door and even if I don't like answer it like the door to my room, you'll just keep on knocking and knocking and like talking to me when I'm busy. And yeah, that kind of annoys me about you. The next question is, who keeps a cleaner room? And that is a very not hard question to answer. It's hard. Yeah, my room isn't always clean by any means, but I like a very like minimalistic amount of things in my room and her room gives me anxiety just based on like her clutterness. The next question is what is something weird you eat? Pastel likes raw onions. Like she literally bites the onion raw. White onions, those are the best onions. So this isn't really like a weird thing but something really gross that I think you do is you'll just like save ranch packets from restaurants and you'll just eat them like I don't know just a long time after and it just really grosses me out like your obsession with like ranch and things because I'm okay. personally not a rancher. Why would I turn down free ranch? It's not like it goes bad anytime soon. Because it's disgusting. So, so if I have a ranch packet you bet I'm gonna bring it home and use it for later. The next question is how long does it take your sibling to get dressed? Um, it takes me about five minutes. It takes her about a couple hours. Not really. Like, for school, I'll probably allow, like, maybe, like, 40 minutes to get ready. But her, she'll literally roll out of bed and just, like, fluff up her hair a little, get dressed, and walk out the door. Next question is, who reads more? So, the answer long term would be Banana because she's pretty much like been into reading her entire life but just as of recently like a couple years ago I used to hate reading up until like a couple years ago where she really really got me into it so now I kind of read non-stop and so as of right now I definitely read more but like long term she's read a lot more than me. What is one thing that your sibling is bad at? That is easy. Pastel is bad at being social. She's very introverted and doesn't like going out of her way to talk to new people. Banana's pretty bad at hair. Like, she can do some decent braids, I suppose, but just like in general, she's not very good at hair. The next question is, are we close? And what do you think, Pastel? Would you call us close? I'd say we're really close. The last question is, what is a weird habit each other has? Okay, so a weird habit that I think Banana has that drives me nuts sometimes is for some reason I think that she talks a lot with her hands. Like she'll make like tons and tons of hand movements when she talks and I don't think you really realize it, but it just annoys me so much. So one weird habit about pastel is she has all of these cute tennis shoes, like five pairs, but she wears the same boring, worn out pair every single day. She had 
these cute like teal checkered van sneakers and she just refuses to wear them because she doesn't like them for whatever reason okay you think they're cute because they used to be yours and i'm someone who likes like more of like a bland color palette all right that is all for the video and thank you so much for watching thank you pastel for joining in our first video together mm -hmm. hopefully we'll make more in the future don't forget to comment, like, and of course subscribe. Wait, you just did my intro but completely out of order. You've never oh, said well, that. well, too bad. I stole your outro. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.